Rajdeep, what changes? You've spoken to Kharge on and off record. Uh, what does he hope to do? Does he accept that his role is just to do more of the same or does he think he can be a bit of a Krantikari? I don't think so. I, you know, look, I don't think there is any space at the moment for any Krantikari to be a, uh, a Congress president while the Gandhi family continues to So will anything enjoy... change in your view? Will anything change? I think one of the things that will change, there are a number of Congress persons who complained at various levels that they don't get an audience with, uh, with the Gandhi family. They have concerns in their state units, they can't speak. At least they can go to Kharge, an old style politician who will meet them. So some sense that there is someone in Delhi, someone at the top in the hierarchy who we will meet. Mr. Kharge, That's I think true. at the end of the day, will be used more symbol, will have more symbolic value at this moment. Because he's a Dalit. Be, be, because he represents, I think, a constituency that the Congress believes it can sort of reach out to and perhaps win back. Not easy again. Because I think this is old style politics. You see, old style politics is you put up a Dalit uh, as your face, as you did with Punjab, with Charanjit Singh Channi, you saw what happened. I think Mr. Kharge's only role is he provides a reassuring, comforting presence for those at the middle level in the Congress who perhaps are the worst sufferers at the moment. You see the middle no, level. What of can the... he get done if for everything he has to go and ask Rahul Gandhi? No, Rahul Gandhi has... is not accessible. No, I think, look, there are there are lots of issues which are organizational that can be resolved at at the level of Mr. Kharge. The problem is not that I maintain the Congress's real challenge is a complete organizational reboot. But can he do it? I don't think at 18 his best political years are behind him, Rahul. That's very clear. It, it is, you know, Mr. Kharge does not have, let's say, the energy at the moment that J.P. Nadda, who, let's be honest, is also doing exactly what Narendra Modi and Amit Shah want him to, but is traveling rapidly across the country, making sure he's there to enthuse the BJP workers. He's that role of providing a sense of energy. I don't think Mr. Kharge has that, and that's what really the Congress will miss having that kind of more energetic leader who is ready to go to every corner of the country at a moment's uh, notice and be there as a problem fixer. Now, Congress J J needs a problem fixer. is 61 years old. Uh, Kharge is 80. Uh, Rajat Sethi, is this the BJP's dream come true that you've ended up with more of the same and therefore it's easy to continue pounding the Congress in the way that it was? Or... Now there will be somebody this gruntled, disaffected congressman can speak to and therefore it's an improvement over not knowing whom to speak to. Well, if you look at the examples that are out there, uh, we saw how Rajasthan was handled by Mr. Kharge. The MLAs uh, did not feel that they, he carries any authority and he uh, could not even muster the, the support of the Congress MLAs and ensure that they are there in the meeting room where he was waiting for them patiently for five, six hours. Now, the challenge before Mr. Kharge would be that there are a lot of equals in the party. Uh, you will have Digvijay Singh uh, in, in Madhya Pradesh, you will have Gehlot in Rajasthan, and you will have uh, Siddharamaya in Karnataka. How would he be able to carry that moral pressure uh, that the presidential chair, had he been on merit elected to that post, would allow him to, to, to sort of control the Congress and correct some of the errors and mistakes that the Congress is treading on. That is, I think, a big challenge. How does he stand tall among a lot of equals uh, if the Gandhi family uh, sort of stays away from some of the decision making, which I don't think will happen. So all in all, net, net where we are, uh, one good thing that has happened is at least if Tharoor would have been there, uh, the problem is that the same woke syndrome that Congress is suffering from would have continued. At least Kharge is more of a grassroots leader. He will bring in maybe pertinent issues which relate to more grassroots level leaders and would, he would have a favorable sort of uh, outlook towards those issues. Whereas perhaps Shashi Tharoor would Kibar carry on with his working style, debate. his energy levels at this moment in comparison with someone like a JP Nadda who has pretty much the same task to keep the party See, exactly. organization so, going. In, in the last show that we were in together, Rahul, you were the one who suggested that it was yeah, yeah. so Go. hard for him to travel from point A to point B. For like traveling to Rajasthan, he had to like travel for two days to, to reach and he couldn't manage the show. So I think that age factor will be a constant factor, but as long as he remains the president, which I don't think would be a couple, more than a couple of years or a year.